Holy Republic, Star Wars discussion and editorial radio. Now, here's Joel, Mike, and Ed. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! This is VOR as fuck! My <laughs> name is Ed. We're back in a brand new year! <laughs> yeah. Wow, we got the full compliments. Yeah, we do. I'm Ed, I'm Black Lion! Or Red Lion. I'm wearing black. <laughs> Next. Uh, uh, Mikey, it's Mike. I'm Mike. <laughs> <laughs> it's Chol, and I'll form the ass. I'm Carl, and I'm the left foot. <laughs> the left foot. <laughs> left leg. I'm a pinky. Everyone needs a left foot. Everybody needs one. Uh, I thought you were going to be the hamster. Some of us need two. <laughs> so it's nice to be back, man. It seems like it's been about forever, hasn't it? It's been about a year for you guys. It's yeah, been a minute since I seen you, motherfuckers. Yeah, it's not, not from lack of trying. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, so know. yeah. So hey, Jamie Baca, fucking watching you, Jamie. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> for our fan. <laughs> <laughs> This we should make this a benefit show for him. <laughs> he is Canadian. Yeah, so just he needs a, all the help he can get. Give exactly. a give a loony or a toony. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh. Holy shit! Yeah, yeah. This is huge. We've been we've been trying to get this together behind the scenes for quite some time, and uh, at, least, at least five months, at least. At least, yeah. And I mean, hey, that is life, my friends. It is just a. It could be wonderful, and it could be a big kick in your pants. We would have months ago if it weren't for Carl's pickling classes. Yeah, it's you know when you get to the kosher and the dill, and it's really involved. Uh, Bread and butter. Of, yeah, there's a lot of chemistry, and you just when you, it comes to pickling, you just don't have enough time in the day. It's so, not uh, just vinegar. It's not. Yeah. No, but I'll tell you what. For my birthday, Carl sent me one of his uh, his pig's feet that he submitted for his final. Ooh, mm -hmm. Ooh. a little just, shame in a beak. Like right off the bone, it just falls off. It's, it's oh. like, That's some nice talk. <laughs> Real nice talk. <laughs> yeah, you get it going long enough, you could bite right into that hoof. <laughs> I don't understand that shit for the life of me. I don't understand it. My grandmother used to put it in our spaghetti sauce. Ooh. And um, cool. damn, it almost makes me glad she's gone. <laughs> <laughs> it does because I haven't had pig's feet or chicken feet in my spaghetti sauce since. God. How is that Italian? Yeah, oh, she must have been from the poor part of Italy. Because the real poor part of it, why isn't there rice and beans in it? Well, that's the, like I mean, my, grandma. Why is it that my that my spaghetti sauce is like black beans, rice, pig's feet, and chicken's feet? Like. That just doesn't, that's spaghetti sauce to us. I had all that time. <laughs> no noodles, just bones. No, it's just every nationality's peasant food. <laughs> well, we're all going to end up eating it anyway. Were you like really confused the first time you went out and you had like spaghetti? You're just like, Where, where's the fucking feet? And it was delicious. No, you go out and then finally you're like, this is spaghetti. This is delicious. <laughs> Holy shit. Right. <laughs> oh, that's almost mean. That's, that's a terrible thing to do to a child. Now, whenever whenever they say a pig knuckle, does that mean like it's like a wrist? Like like is do pigs have wrists or well, if they have four feet, I guess is it more of an ankle? Hmm. There's no such thing as a pig no pig knuckle. I've, a, I've seen it. No, I mean, it, no, a pig knuckle is just the same thing as an unkosher moose knuckle, right? Yeah, it's only mooses have knuckles. Yeah, it's, a, it's an uncircumcised moose knuckle, right? An uncircumcised. <laughs> it's a kosher. It's a kosher one. Oh my god. <laughs> Please, someone, please, someone make a, a slideshow presentation of these definitions and <laughs> be ready. I want flashcards. 
Today's VOR, gas station food. <laughs> oh, my God. I think I'm literally, I'm drinking, like, Circle K coffee right now. Mm -hmm. It's Circle K coffee. There was literally three barefoot people in the building as I was getting the coffee. Mm. Did they have Winn Dixie feet? Did they have Winn Dixie feet? No, I didn't. Well, I was going to pick the kid up and check. <laughs> but dad was none too. Just flipping that. kids over in the store. Be like, what, what the fuck's your problem? They're You're checking cold. his feet. <laughs> checking his feet. Is he Oda or not? Chili <laughs> Oda. Oh, shit. Welcome. That's yeah. what I'm doing. Jared's coming to Orlando, and I'm going to... um. I'm going to hijack his ass and tell him that we're going to do something fun. And I think I'm just going to grab him and throw him in the car and meet Joel and Chuliota. And we're just going to like force him to walk around the same Walmart like all night. <laughs> He'll love it. Well, yeah. um, either that or we're going to go down to Bithlo to where they keep all the carnival rides and we're just going to steal screws from. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you can pull off of that tail to whirl. You said you want to have a good time. <laughs> this, is what, this is what we do. This is how we roll. Well, yeah. It's not fun if you're not going to die. Did but. you bring your trombone? <laughs> I thought you said you wanted to party. <laughs> Put on this hat. Well, it's not really a hat. It's more like a pig intestine. But you know, we we should really do something like that to the poor guy. Oh, if he, if he, he, if he, if he comes it. down, yeah, we're definitely like we're going to Taft. <laughs> we're oh. going. We're going down there. He's gonna get a true cracker experience. <laughs> Cracker ass cracker. Wow. Um, well, shit. The, um, <laughs> I know. I'm trying. This is what I do, right? Yeah. I'm like... <laughs> moderate this. <laughs> <laughs> moderate this. <laughs> That's the show. It's called Moderate This. Um, no, but oh my God. Like, the Force Awakened came out. I was in the hospital, but everybody was still like, oh, what'd you guys think? What'd you think of the trailer? And the movie came out. Like, what'd you guys think? And like, whoa, you should all get together and you should talk about more of that stuff. And I'm like, I know. But like, I guess we did a show about TFA, but um, never got to really hear from Joel. Um, what your reaction was to that. Maybe we could springboard from that. Oh, I still haven't seen it. How's it going? <laughs> I'm I'm with Joel. So if you guys want to tell the film, oh, Force Awakens, Force Awakens. No, I still haven't seen it. Oh, Force Awakens. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I, I got to see it like in like like mid January, and um, it's it's kind of tough in a way because like in, in one way like the, like a lot of people like had complaints that it was like so much like Star Wars and you know blah blah, blah or like you know like the first Star Wars back in seventy seven. And, um, but one of the things I, I kind of agreed with and like, unfortunately, like I don't, I'm not a real big fan of JJ Abrams. Um, he always does this shit with like the mystery box, you know, where he doesn't answer shit, you know, but, yeah. then, but, but then he doesn't have an answer for it either. He likes the idea of a mystery, but even he doesn't have a real plan. Oh, that's like me in deep space tragedy. That's what's <laughs> taking so long. You guys. It's on the way. But, um, but what what's kind of cool is that J.J. Abrams is really good at emulating his heroes. And so, like, what we really needed after this long... And, and I mean, like, no diss against the prequels. Or, or no, like, like over... We really needed a Star Wars movie. Right, right. And, and, and that, it just... It, you know, like, because, I mean, we've got, like, all these, like, science fiction... We're inundated. We're inundated by, by sci-fi shit. Um, if if I would have one complaint about the Force Unleashed um, or Force Awakens, whoa, not Unleashed. It, it's like what's funny is that like you mentioned Force Unleashed the other day, and like I'm like, oh, I forgot about it. It actually happened. You know, we we talked about that. We go, well, one day no one will talk about the Force Unleashed anymore, and it'll it'll be gone. Yeah, and it was it was gone. It it actually you know it it took a couple of years, but yeah, God, there's a lot of things I wish it would just happen like that. Right and now, so, and so, like, unfortunately, um, my excitement for the Force Awakens depends if it's on or not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it, it brings that Star Wars feel back now that we're this far out. But I mean, when you're a kid, you just you just absorb things, and when you like it, you just want it all the time. You want more and again and again. And it wasn't just when we were kids; kids did that. Kids still do that. 
kids still are very much into, you know, even with all the media choices they have, they'll still watch the same video again. They'll still watch, mm -hmm. some, you know, listen to the same music or if they have the MP3, they're going to run into the ground. But I mean, we're older, so it's like, we see it, we get it. Well, yeah. And well, there's also the, the way the entertainment works now is it, it goes in three month cycles. You know, like like generally, like there's the the movie, and then within you know, like if a movie shows at Christmas, we're gonna get a DVD by March. True. And then and then like another three months, and it kind of it's kind of burned its cycle, and there's and we've moved on to the other thing. And so, in a lot of ways, I still have a lot of Star Wars nostalgia, but like as for new projects, it still kind of falls in the same camp with me of that it's just stuff, unfortunately. Yeah. It's, it, it just kind of rolls back into becoming invisible quite quickly. And you know, and I think that that whole cycle thing's dead on because people aren't talking about the Force Awakens anymore. They're talking about Rogue One, you know. And like, how many people like when Rogue One came out? It's like it's the best movie since Empire, or like some people, even, it's better than Empire. And it's like you're saying that now, but in three to six months, you're going to forget it exists, and then in twelve months, you're going to think like the, the Last Jedi is the best Star Wars film that's ever been made. You know, it's like because the same thing even happened with the prequels, like that first week that they was out, everyone was like, the Phantom Menace, it was so amazing. And it's like, then he's like, you get like a couple weeks removed from it. And you're just like, no, no, maybe it wasn't. You know, it's like, so like those cycles come along and uh, I think it's the excitement starting to taper off on all of them. So like the force awakens, it was like a big, like people loved it. Then there was some pushback and now it's kind of like back to the middle. Like people are like, yeah, it wasn't that bad. So well, it's not, it's not the star Wars license or property alone it, it's yeah. everything everything kind of like before you know it just shit comes and goes now and, and like it, it's, it's gone you know i was gonna say it's the other difference between now and then is you know when star wars came out we didn't know there'd be more um and then there was empire two years later so we had to wait two years from we didn't know it was going to happen then we had rumors there's going to be a sequel and then it happened and we're like holy fuck this is the best and then we had to wait two more years for another one before that started to peter out and then it was like the then you just kind of had to slowly die down because you knew it was special it was over um so with these new ones you know and the prequels were similar right it was like movie came out two years movie two years and star wars hung around but it started to kind of degrade in quality you know like content wise um but with the new ones now that disney took over that's the only thing i'm no longer concerned with it it's just that I feel like it loses its meaning because you know that there's another one around the corner. Um, if you don't like this Star Wars, maybe you'll like this one because, I mean, I haven't been really too secretive. I'm not going to get into it here, but um, I liked Rogue One all the way up to the end but because it doesn't have the same Star Wars feel. Mm. Yeah, well, I had some issues, but didn't have the feel. But I'm like, well, I guess I don't have to worry about it too much because like, I would be more upset if there was a limit, like if that was a sequel, and there was a limited amount of Star Wars that I knew was coming our way. But mm -hmm. since it's like, if they're going to treat it like the Avengers and the X-Men, where it's like, you know, you're just going to have more. There's just more. So it's kind of like, I almost don't care. <laughs> well, that that's, I mean, like, I, like Mike and I both, we haven't seen Rogue One because this is a story that Sorry. we, I mean, like, you know, like, like we, we know, we, we know that they, we know what happens. And there's also something different um, <clears throat> happening with Star Wars. You've got, there's so much that goes, I mean, there's a lot that's going into this in terms of like, I mean, you have to consider your age versus the age of the target audience now. Um, you have to consider the fact that now the, the momentum has sped up. Um, you also have to consider the fact that when we were kids, your pop took you to go see Star Wars and then you didn't know if there was another movie coming out and, or not. Like you, when when you saw the when I when I saw the Empire Strikes Back commercial, like the trailer on TV, I almost shit my pants because I wasn't, I didn't know if there was another one coming at all. Now there's been like this very public promise, and it just it's obvious. It feels as though we've never gone through a period without Star Wars. It feels like it's just it has just truly been here, and you really kind of and now looking back, you know I'm. Oh, 44, you know, hun half hundred thousand years old. But I feel, well, it, the, the time between uh, Return of the Jedi and then the them starting to put them back into the theaters, like the whatever, the remasters or whatever, yeah. it was only like a 10-year period. 
and it's just like whoa like uh, so much life went on but when you're a kid that 10 years is forever mm -hmm. and there's like that muscle memory of sorts that's been established within the marketing that like at target you've got when it's not a star wars it's a transformers if it's not a transformers it's a ninja turtles if it's not a ninja turtles it's the lego movie it's a, not the lego movie it's the next thing and it's like every four months there's another card you know moving cardboard something <laughs> hollering at you as you walk by and just so oh it's the star wars one now you know? It's almost like the the, the BB-8 split apart, and there was a Lego Batman inside of it. Yeah, it was like Batman, and then and it just, transformed, just crumbled apart, and then yeah. like, you know, hey, buy my movie. Yeah, it's like like now it's like just doing some. There's a different soundtrack, and and also that that um, the, the fact that we're going to be getting a Star Wars film every year for the immediate future, mm -hmm. for for at least the next four years. Right. There's going to be, and it's just, it's just coming, whether you whether you want it or not. Or, or, or whether you, you know, and, and in a lot of ways, whether the story needs to be told or not. Exactly. exactly. Are you referencing a Han Solo film or a Darth Maul film or something like that? Or Boba <sighs> Fett film or Boba Fett, Boba Fett. Oh, oh, oh no, Darth Maul would be cooler. Well, whenever whenever they talked about like that, you know, we're going to do a spinoff Yoda film. It's like, wow. Oh, my God. Well, the, the, if they're bringing Yaddle back. Yeah, we're gonna take all of the wonder mean, out of Star Wars and answer every question on Wikipedia. We promise. Right, like um, I, I like that. Uh, I don't really want to see a Han Solo film. Mm -mm, dude, I don't want to see a Han Solo. But film. that kid that um, I saw Hail Caesar just recently, and that that kid that they want for Han, he's actually really funny. He's really good. I like him, mm. and I really like Dan. And I really like Donald Glover. I wish it was Nathan Fillion. <laughs> I wish everything was Nathan Fillion. But the the one the one thing that cracked me up was that that there was big news a while back of where they said they were hiring Woody Hel Woody Harrelson to be a mentor for Han Solo's character, right? You know, like he would be a character. And I'm like, well, Han's not good at anything. What kind of shitty mentor? <laughs> So, you know, is it like a drunk uncle, you know? <laughs> you just beat him up. Dean Solo. <laughs> Dean Solo. Okay. Wash my socks, boy. Give me a beer. <laughs> His character from Hunger Games, really. Which, you know, that sounds very Disney. He's like, well, you've already done this before. We're going to just do it right. again. No, it, 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 and when they mentioned that they wanted him as a mentor, I'm like, that's kind of proto-formulaic already. Like, you know, like, does... I mean, like, yeah, Han Solo, they're already, like, dumping a lot of people in there. It's not much of a... Does he Han doesn't get to be too Solo, you know, if they're, if they're just like, we want Lando in there, and we want this in there, and we want is, that Is the there. movie called Solo? Who knows? Oh, oh, I'll tell you what. Now I'm going, I'm going to predict this right now. Okay. I'm watching this on video. Is, yeah. I bet you the last scene of the Han Solo Solo film is... Uh, <laughs> Han Solo Solo film. Uh, it is uh, Chewbacca. It's him rescuing Chewbacca. I'm calling it right now. It's going to be like him, like, boom. He's like, like, that's it. People lose their shit. Like, that's the last scene is him saving Chewbacca. I'm hoping at the end of the Yoda movie, he has like, I'll miss you too, Chewbacca. Yeah. I hated that. That embarrassed me. I just felt like. Yeah. It was yikes all over, like worldwide yikes. It just spread like. Oh, I miss you too, Chewbacca. Balls, <laughs> balls, no balls. Cool. Well, hey, let's wrap this up for now. And we'll end of the show. No, just first segment. Okay. <laughs> we'll be back tomorrow. Later, guys. See you never. Hope you enjoy this. Watch it a million enjoy. times. See you in six. <laughs> Two years for fifteen minutes. Later. Ha ha ha! The beard up. Love ya. <laughs> This has been your 10-minute Star Wars update. See you in 2018. <laughs> <laughs> What's the tickle? Cool. Um, well, you can, if you just stumbled onto us and you're wondering what the hell this is all about, vorradio.com is still there for you. But really, all the action's over on Facebook. So find us at uh, Voice of the Republic, not the Voice of the Republic. That is a piece of shit. <sighs> We're not... <laughs> I, I don't mind saying anymore because what does it matter now <laughs> fuck them they're, they're fucking kids yeah well they're, wait, oh, they're, pedophiles? they're from the uk oh, right yeah, they fuck kids those guys fuck kids, no, they're they're fucking they, kids? Are, they are kids so i mean they're like, <laughs> so, 
So, it was not Remember really the last time you ate a 15 year old girl? <laughs> yeah. I do, as a matter of fact. Like, like eat? Or like- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with uh, like 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 uh, uh, like a leg, yeah, like a whole leg. Okay. With a nice Chianti and fava beans. Yeah, fava beans. Was that her name, Chianti? It was. It was, dude. It was in Virginia Beach. They're all Chianti in Virginia Beach. <laughs> well, if you're enjoying this um, detour, um, yeah, hit us up at uh, 407-409-8749 or at. Um, voiceoverrep at gmail.com. We'd love to hear your response. If my mom's call, if my mom answers, say, bitch, don't <laughs> get my motherfucker from me. Do, we, do I all say that? We're ready to believe you. No, that's our bust cast. Yes. <laughs> our Ghostbusters We're ready only. to believe you. That's Odd what we've cast? been doing. We've been doing a Ghostbusters podcast for the last several years. I thought that, I thought that you watched ours. You didn't even watch our, our Ghostbusters podcast? Oh, yeah. Bustin' makes us feel good. <laughs> Don't make you... We ain't afraid of no ghosts. Me too. I hear they're going to make one with all girls. <laughs> that would be, so, be so lame. That movie what came the up. The Ghostbusters. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> goodbye. Bye. <laughs> so, yeah, see you guys tomorrow for more of this. The VOR reunion. Liter- yeah. Literally tomorrow? Yes. That means that even if we pre even if we post record it, you have to wait till tomorrow to watch the next one. Yes. Time. <laughs>